Welcome to the training module on piezoelectric energy harvesting power supply. This training module will introduce LTC3588 energy harvesting IC and its applications. Electronic circuits are now capable of operating at microwatt levels and it is feasible for them to be powered using non-traditional sources. This has led to energy harvesting which provides the power to charge, supplement or replace batteries in systems where battery use is inconvenient, impractical, expensive or even dangerous. It can also eliminate the need for wires to carry power or transmit data. Energy harvesting can power smart wireless sensor networks to monitor and optimize complex industrial processes, remote field installations and building high voltage AC systems. In addition, otherwise wasted energy from industrial processes, solar panels or internal combustion engines can be harvested for useful purposes. In most cases, the fuel for energy harvesters is naturally present and may be considered free. Using natural sources in remote areas for energy harvesting is an attractive alternative to inconvenient utility and battery power. These natural energy sources may be available maintenance-free for a lifetime. Ambient energy sources include light, heat, differentials, vibrating beams, transmitted RF signals, or any other source that can produce an electrical charge through a transducer. The figure in the page shows an energy harvesting power system that includes the energy source or transducer, an energy storage element, and a means to convert this and stored energy into a useful regulated voltage. Energy harvesting alone often does not produce sufficient power to continuously run the sensor transmitter. Harvested energy must be stored when possible, ready for use by the sensor or transmitter, which must operate at a duty cycle that does not exceed the energy storage capabilities of the system. Energy harvesters are intended for applications that require very low average power, but also need periodic pulses of higher load current. For example, in many wireless sensor applications, the circuitry is only powered to make measurements and transmit data periodically at a low duty cycle. Energy harvesting is becoming more feasible today because of the increased efficiencies of devices used to capture, store and produce electrical energy. This can be accomplished with very efficient, very low voltage input step-up converters. Also, improved low voltage high efficiency microprocessors may allow them to become participants in energy harvesting systems. The LTC3588 shown in the figure is a complete energy harvesting solution optimized for high impedance sources such as piezoelectric transducers. It contains a low-loss full-wave bridge rectifier and high-efficiency synchronous book converter which transfers energy from an input storage device to an output at a regulated voltage source capable of supporting loads up to 100 milliamps. An ultra-low quiescent current under voltage lockout or UVLO mode allows charge to accumulate on an input capacitor until the book converter can efficiently transfer a portion of the stored charge to the output. In regulation, the LTC3588 enters a sleep state in which both input and output quiescent currents are minimal. The book converter turns on and off as needed to maintain regulation. The LTC3588 is available in 10 lead MSE and 3mm by 3mm DFN packages. The LTC3588 operates for an input voltage range of 2.7 volts to 20 volts, making it ideal from a wide variety of piezoelectric transducers, as well as other output impedance energy sources. Its high efficiency book DC to DC converter delivers up to 100 milliamps of continuous output current or even higher pulse loads. Its output can be programmed to one of four, 1.8 volts, 2.5 volts, 3.3 volts and 3.6 volts. 
fixed voltages to power wireless transmitter or sensors. An ultra low quiescent current 450 nanoamp under voltage lockout mode with a wide hysteresis window enables charge to accumulate on the storage capacitor until the book converter can efficiently transfer a portion of the stored charge to the output. In its, in its load sleep state, the LTC3588 regulates the output voltage, consuming only 950 nanoamps of quiescent current while continuously charging the storage capacitor. This table highlights the difference between the LTC3588 and a custom discrete solution. The existing discrete configurations usually comprise of 30 components or more. Such designs have low conversion efficiency and high quiescent currents. Both of these deficiencies result in compromised performance in an end system. The low conversion efficiency will increase the amount of time required to power up a system, which in turn increases the time interval between taking the sensor reading and transmitting this data. A high quiescent current limits how low the output of the energy harvesting source can be since it must first overcome the current level needed for its own operation before it can supply any excess power to the output. But the LTC3588 can bring a new level of performance and simplicity. The energy harvesting process relies on a low quiescent current energy accumulation phase. The LTC3588 enables this through an under voltage lockout UVLO mode with a wide hysteresis window that draws less than a microamp of quiescent current. The UV LO mode allows charge to build up on an input capacitor until an internal book converter can efficiently transfer a portion of the stored charge to the output. Figure 2 shows the profile of the quiescent current in a UV LO which is monotonic with VN so that a current source as low as 700 nanoamps could charge the input capacitor to the UVLO rising threshold and result in a regulated output. Once in regulation, the LTC3588 enters a sleep state in which both input and output quiescent currents are minimal. This schematic shows a complete system implementation using LTC3588 energy harvester and bug regulator IC. Two LTC4071 shunt battery chargers, two GM batteries, GMB3010098 MAH batteries, and a simulated sensor transmitter modelled as a 12.4 mA load with 1% duty cycle. The LTC3588 contains a very low leakage bridge rectifier with two inputs at PZ1 and PZ2 and outputs at VIN and ground. This system has two modes of operation, charging sending and discharging sending. In charging sending mode, the batteries are charged while the sensor transmitter presents a 0.5% load. When discharging, the sensor transmitter is operating but no energy is being harvested from the PFCBW14 piezoelectric transducer. This figure shows an energy harvesting system that uses a CBET transducer from Telurex Corporation. The E differential produces an output voltage that supports the 300 mW output load. Connecting the transducer to the PZ1 input prevents reverse current from flowing back into the CBET device when the heat source is removed. The 100 ohms resistor provides current limiting to protect the LTC3588 input bridge.